Welcome back to Metroid Prime 3. Well, I've had fun here on Elysia, and it's been a dramatic experience. But it's time to get rid of the phase on here once and for all. Yeah! We're going to the sea. Get rid of the phase on. Yeah. Time to take on a boss. 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 Gonna Ta shoot that boss in the face a bunch. Take on the boss. Take on the boss. I mean, we worked hard to get there. We had to build. We had to build a bomb. We had to get new. We had to get a a hand for our ship, basically, to put it together. <laughs> we basically just got a a grapple hand or one of those like long extendo hands for our ship. We had to kill a fellow uh, bounty hunter, so that's cool. We love that. And then we built a nuke. Best vacation ever. Uh, if it's a place like this, I'm not so sure. This place looks like. Uh, Ew. Uh, this place looks like uh, something from like an 80s anime gore fest. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of giving me like last area first prime vibes, if you catch me. Yeah, I wonder why that is. It's hard to scan these little things sometimes. The scanner doesn't want to little just buggers. behave. Why would I want to scan up there? Scan. Just get one of the many little bugs scanning the platform, you Thank you. It's a phase on leech. Oh. It's a little buggo. <laughs> That's all they do. They just scatter around. It's like a little bug colony got caught up in the phase on there. Like, huh? Well, might as well live here in space cancer forever. I'm gonna suck the phase on out of you, Samus. What do you think about that? Please, I, cool. I, I, I'd hate that. <laughs> oh no, not my phase on. All right, seeker missile these things. Oh, I I hate it. <laughs> need, need to go hyper mode. They're gonna. They're now that they've given you a few free E tanks. You've got a bit of hyper mode to play with. And of course, there's a risk reward factor when it comes to hyper mode, but eventually you're gonna have to use hyper mode if you want to kill bosses efficiently. So that's why you only use two shots here. Save your save your phase on, and then the pickups will help heal what you have left. So when you use hyper mode, you have to use an E tank, and you're really powerful. This room sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's just a three anuses. But it's gonna make you weaker. Because you're using all your energy. Oh great, one of them has a hemorrhoid. And it's mad at us. Is that another... Oh, okay. This might be the first Elysian that the Chozo uh, we're talking about. This might, be the, this might have been the guy who's been uh, leaving us all the lore. This is Helios. I was about to say, God of the Sun. Nice. He's got a bunch of swarm bots. That's his claim to fame. Oh dear. And he's probably gonna come straight towards you. Yep, straight towards you. Oh, he's like a, like a little hamster ball. Look at him go. This is a this is a fight based on RNG and cycles. Oh, great! It Just can, what we like in our Metroid Prime game. It can go it can go pretty long if you uh, don't do a couple things, but it it, it isn't that bad. Okay. I know I know we have a threshold for what bad bosses are in the, in the Prime world, <laughs> but this doesn't this doesn't come anywhere near it. I just noticed something about your shooting. Do you have to lead your shots, kind of? Sort of. Like, I'm also not aiming the best. Oh. Like, my aim is also crap. All right, here, here's one. You have to basically just shoot back his blasts. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Pew. The idea is to shoot him when he's not surrounded by swarm bots. Right. Like, you could get a few... Hot shots in here. In fact, this would be a good time to maybe get a door, but it's too late for that now. Oh, wait, hold on. It looks like you're getting through, but you're definitely not. Oh, oh. Well, now he's making this disc, this crazy ass disc. Whoa. I'm going saw blade on you. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, he oh, oh. rings a Saturn on my ass! Whoa! Put on your 3D glasses, audience! Whoa! Alright, so that might have gotten you tilted a little bit, but uh, then there's your hint right there, staring in front of you. Don't oh, see it? Oh, Seeker Missile! Seeker, seeker missile. Missiles! Seeker Missile! Seeker Missile! How long until I figure that out? Uh, let's see, how, how much time do we have? 28 right minutes! There. Okay, there we go, there we go. Hey! There we that's go! How, that's how he gets weak enough so you can shoot him long enough, and then he essentially goes into hyper mode and opens up his body, which means you gotta do the same. Charge your shot! Oh! Oh! That does crazy damage, it'll mess up your visor, and it's based on cycles. Oh, that is actually awesome! 
If you charge it long enough, you'll be corrupted with Phazon, so you can uh, shoot him a few free times. Doesn't look like it's doing anything, unfortunately, so... You gotta weaken him enough so he's like, Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm done with you shooting me. I'm gonna go into hyper mode and make myself weak. Ah, you did the same! <laughs> Puts one hand up. No. <laughs> Oh, and then we gotta do this again? Okay. So, the charge shot when in hyper mode, I think, is the best way to deal with Helios, because when you do that when he's getting down, when he's weak, you, do, and you take care of that, and he will go on to his next phase, no problem. Well, I was watching the health bar, it melted. Mm hmm. That was awesome. Is this secret missile time? Or... Yeah, come on. Go, go ah. saw blade. Aha! Uh -huh. okay. It's that thing again. Maybe I can. Might be too soon. Too soon! Wait, Ooh, yep, yep, too soon. Okay, he's he's got to do his attack first before I can actually... You? Yeah, all right, <laughs> all right. your missiles. Okay, all right. Yes, it's very impressive. You go very fast. Now try hitting me next time. Can you imagine getting hit by a frisbee <laughs> going like that? You ever seen those Euler discs like you spin them around? <laughs> and like, get, hit, get hit by a giant Sunk. one of those. Oh, oh. Why? Why? All right, come here. I got gotcha. you. What? Oh wait. Uh, oh wait. Uh, try again. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That there just melted go. his health bar. That is ridiculously powerful. You'll love this scene. I've only used one E tank so far. How? See, I figured out charging during practice. I was like, man, man, I'm like down to like my like three E tanks left. What am I doing wrong? I keep going into hyper mode, but. Oh, maybe if I charge up and oh, that just absolutely takes care of everything. Did he just make himself legs? Yeah, he made himself arms and legs, but uh, it's kind of a he's kind of a push over here. Oh, good, he's throwing collapsed stars at you. Fantastic, we'd love to see it. I would say maybe he looks like a Chozo here, but speculation. He's got the bendy legs. Maybe, maybe that could be bird leg. It's, it certainly wouldn't be human, that's for sure. I mean, that's what I look like because my legs are so long. But then again, maybe this is Dark Samus manipulating them yeah. to what to a humanoid that she recognizes or Her something. Her influence. Anyway, thanks for playing Helios. Your time is done. Out of here! I thought that would take way longer than it did. Poof. Don't wait. Not poof. Not poof. Ah! I hate poof! Oh, uh. Hold on, let me take a big whiff of this aerial space cancer. Okay, maybe it's fine. Oh god, not fine, not fine. Oh, that's on my organ somewhere. It's Ugh. growing, it's growing, it's on my heart right now. Uh, <laughs> but hey, look what we get. Okay, what's left? What is that? We got seeker missiles, we yeah, got ice look, missiles. Looks missily. One thing you gotta know, everything we get from the bosses is all hyper mode stuff. Hyper missiles? Hyper missile. Ooh. Okay. So, wait. <laughs> Can we recreate terminal montage shooting now? It's like. <laughs> shooting a bunch of missiles? The hyper missile's online. Nice. The hyper missile. If only there was something we could try it out on. Oh, I, I think would we've killed love everything in here. To try. How about that thing? Huh? Don't shoot here. Or here. Or here. Or here. Bad stuff happens if you do. I like bad stuff. Okay, well then how about if I just eat how about I do anyway? Okay, that's pretty cool. It doesn't feel so strong. Well, unless you see that everything you're shooting with it blows up. I, th I think the impact and uh, more than makes up for it. I told you not to shoot this. Ah! <laughs> it's just spewing raw phase on energy. It's like, oh, if you want to change the propane tank, just just dump pure propane on it to open it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this ugly thing. Oh, it's like a diseased raspberry. With fangs. Let's do what we did last time. Play by play. I'ma hit it a bunch. <laughs> no, we don't need to hit it a bunch. Just the once. And I'm gonna make it a good one. Press A to release phase on energy towards the core! Bah! No, no, I'm... Yeah. 
I feel like that should have helped our heart murmur right now. Did that? Okay, cool. Just had to make it look cool. Uh, I think our suit's looking worse now. It was looking like it, yeah, we're more corrupted. Like, I think it's looking more oxidized, almost, is the word. It's a beautiful shade of blue. I d really like the color. Uh, yeah, no, no, it is it, it is killing. Fashion-wise, looks great. But, but it's also killing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> li literally <laughs> killing. Yes, it, it, is, it is slay, queen, slay. <laughs> yes. And then slaying the queen, <laughs> slaying. But don't, don't sashay away. Is now free of further corruption. corruption. Both Leviathans have been removed from Federation space. You have once again performed admirably. Admirably, I'll tell you. Admirably. The threat is not over. Coughs up just a little bit of blood. A little bit of blood and uh, some mold. <laughs> mold eats your blood? Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, anybody got a hanky? I got some Purell. Hi, Gandrada. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Commander, I have an idea. <laughs> All right, now, next we're going is the planet home, the, the, the pirate home world. The planet home base. The planet called the pirate home world. I don't, I don't think it has a name. It's, it's like... Because the Galactic Federation tried to give it a name, and yeah, oh, it's gonna call it the stupid poopy butthole planet, or the the planet of uh, pirate losers, or it's like we'll just call it the pirate homeworld, I guess. That's not good. That's a planet full of phase on, almost 100% corrupted. I think it's Sa it's Dark Samus's home base. Already. The Federation is planning a full-scale assault on the pirate homeworld. Well, all right, I'm on board. The attack will commence as soon as our preparations are. Yeah, it's nice when the Federation is backing me up, me, the universe-saving bounty hunter, who saved their ass countless times. It's nice that they're helping me out instead of me being subservient to them. And oh yes, sir, that's fine. That tonality that you had there, me, me. I'm just seeing, like, future games where they're not behind you. And I can just see, why don't you help me, who did, do me, who helped with face on me? Like, I know Samus would never, you know, have that kind of, uh, you know, haughtiness, that arrogance about her. But I'll do it for her. I, I think after being double-crossed a couple times, I would. Like, like I'm gonna be her wingman. It's like, did you realize what, we, what we're doing to save the planet here, what we've done, and you're gonna give me attitude? Me? Uh, me? <laughs> do you know who the fuck I am? <laughs> Alright, how, how messed up are we? Okay. That's that's we that's, that. that's a given. I figured that much. Woo! Yeah. Halfway there. All right. That means if I cut off two fingers, one of them is entirely phase on. Oh yeah. wait! Look, half of our hand is that was, corrupted. That's, that's the grapple beam. Don't worry. Oh damn it! All right, pirate home world's out somewhere over here in the whatever system. Hate yep. the pirates so much, don't even bother naming their solar system. So fifty percent corrupted. Uh huh. You have 44% of the pickups, I think I saw? Mm-hmm. Is this officially the halfway point of the game? Give or take. It's hard to tell. So we've got two out of the three Leviathan Seeds. Right. But we're still not out of the woods yet. And I noticed, you know, hey, ah! that's disgusting. Give the signal and we'll launch the full-scale assault. That sounds end-of-game-like. Well, I'll tell you, there is no, uh, sir, finishing this fight, or anything like that. There's no point, uh, point of no return? Or is there? Uh, there is a point of no return, but you'll know it. You'll know it. It's probably obvious as, Oh, hey, we're about to go to this wormhole. You want to come with us? Yes or no? The wormhole that we explicitly state is, that's where the boss is. Make that's sure you got the, everything. Yeah, that's I where think, the big thing is. I think even the game says, now, now listen... You got. I'd, I'd rather it be like an actual planet we go to rather than just a room. Right. Like, oh, by the way, the this this door is where the the everything. Yeah. At least tell me. That's all I want. The final just, just, boss is in this room. The one that you're in. Ah, shit. Just tell me. That's all I want. Just tell me. All right. This place is looking worse for wear. I think we're kind of deep in the guts of it, so they won't know that we're here. I think we're kind of being stealthy here, trying to be. But these things go into hyper mode, and they will drain your health quick. Oh. Huh. Just because they're in hyper mode, do not do not give them any quarter. They will they will drain your health like crazy because they're using phase on. And remember, phase on fucking hurts, especially people who are made of phase on. It's kind of weird like that. Phase on yeah, hurts. Yeah, phase I, on. I was just thinking. Yeah, cancer hurts cancer. 
I mean, we have to use the phase on to destroy the phase on, you see. Alright, what we got here? Uh, we got, uh, no, oh, some weird kind of, uh, encrypted pirate bullshit. I don't know. God! Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that for now. Another door over there we can't really access yet. Oh, I can't wait till we get the reading visor so we can actually read pirate speak. Read pirate speak. Read pirate writing! And hear the words in their books. I love hearing Wait colors. a minute! I missed something! Down. You wouldn't believe it, but I missed something. I really hope it's just a missile tank just sitting right in the open. It's lore! Uh, oh. There was lore in that room, did you know? Even better. Did you see it? No. Of course you didn't. You wouldn't even know. Somewhere. Where is it? Where? Right there! Where? That's lore. Our mission. Manifesto. Phazon was discovered to you stellar years ago, and since that moment, command has been driven to control it all. Two operations have been established at tremendous cost. Both have failed, thanks to the accursed hunter, Samus Aaron. Woo woo! Her Federation allies now move to secure what little Phazon remains on the planet Aether. This we cannot allow. We, the crew of the battleship Colossus, swear to take that Phazon or die trying. I'm gonna go with or. I'm definitely gonna go with Orr. Sorry guys, you only had one option in here. I think part of my favorite part of reading this lore over again, you know, now that I'm actually caring about the skeins and all that, is how the pirates go, God damn that Samus fucking Aran! Always, God, she's gonna fuck everything up! And God, she's here, she's here! Oh God, how, there's two of them? Oh no! They made friendly with one of them, but unfortunately that one was a huge bitch. Did they? Uh, well... Did they really make I friendly? Mean, it's Sa Dark Sam doesn't seem the one who uh, is friendly to me. Well, th that's what I'm saying. She gave him a high five in the hallway and then, you know, th tossed a grenade into their homeroom. We got a special lore that might explain some things. Maybe they tolerate her just for a little bit. Maybe they're using her. I think you got it backwards. I think they're being used like the worms that they are. All right, well, it, it rains acid rain in fucking pirate world. I beg world. your pardon? It's acid rain. So the way to the seed is through a cargo supply unit, and we gotta find a way to activate that supply unit, but it's through that door. Unless you can find protection from the acid rain. And that's like special bird melting acid, so we can't go through there. <laughs> Hello, yes, I am bird. Do not burn But me. that only works for people who are part bird. Damn it. Still gotta get used to that. I know it's been like 15 years, but still, fuck. Orange door for the pirate world. All right, into the rain. Actually, over here, over here. Our goal, our goal here is this Mortal Kombat uh, stage fatality. We got to turn off those blades somehow, huh. while still being kind of stealthy. They still don't know we're here yet. That's very surprising, but at the same time, not really. <laughs> See, I think they and Dark Samus as a whole have tunnel vision. Like, like, go, 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 gotta get the phase on. Remember, Dark Samus is basically a, ma a manifestation of Samus and phase on. So I think that Dark Samus is just as reckless as Samus is. But evil is stupid, and therefore... Well, I'm also thinking, you know, if you got cancer for a brain, it probably isn't the best at thinking. Aggression... Stars, uh, <laughs> steps ahead. I mean, it's, a, it, it's aggression and recklessness. It's just a disaster bound to happen. I'm sorry, your brain is made of pure hate. Ooh, I think I'm gonna steal your battery. Yoink. <laughs> Dork. <laughs> <laughs> I got three energy nerd. cells now. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck to have like a friend over and he like steals your Game Boy batteries and you go to play some Kirby's Dream Land after he what comes by? What the hell are you doing? Because their moms are friends, but you don't like him very much. He's like, what the, Mom, I'm out of batteries. I was like, well, well, I, I, we can't get batteries until until Thursday, hon. But it's Monday. It, it's it, that, that's sounding very real. Are you okay, man? Do you have a friend who stole your batteries? Uh, about half of that was real, though. I had a dick back friend, dude. Fuck that guy. Look, I gave you back your batteries. It okay, what more? It do you, wasn't okay. you. It wasn't you. I was six. <laughs> <laughs> I- 
I'm sorry. He got charged up just to immediately go black. <laughs> Well, they will block, they will drain your health very fast if you don't do something. Oh, I, I kind of love it. If you're not in hyper mode, then you're gonna see your health go quickly. Like they're like you, you're gonna shoot at it. It's not gonna die, and your health will just keep shrinking. And that's for sure. Only hyper mode can actually hurt them. You scan it. It says you can only damage it in hyper mode. Yikes! You, I mean, maybe with enough beams you could do something, but yeah, you know, just use hyper mode. Don't be scared. Yeah, I think the game is also slowly teaching you. Hey. We're getting close to, like, I think we passed the halfway point now. So it's time to start using them phase-on powers! God. Gerald the space pirate has no peripheral vision. He didn't see that giant ball go down the, the service elevator. That's a weird repair drone. Huh. I remember that one. Oh, I hear him chit-chatting. Maybe they think it's Dark Samus. Oh, maybe! We do look like her now. Yeah, but more and more. If we're not careful, we could turn into her. We do kind of look like a gobstopper mixed with a an air uh, warhead. I think uh, the human t the uh, human intervention that we are giving her is what's keeping her from turning into a monster right now. So, the fact that she is being played by a human. What happens when you quit this game? Does it say fully corrupted or something like that? Like, does it pull a banjo kazooie and give you the game over? Oh no! It's only when you uh, fail to get rid of your corruption. Okay, like sense. like like when you get overloaded with with phase on, if you don't get rid of that, you turn into Perish. you yeah. They're dire. It's dire. But check it out. Special visor. Can we now read the hieroglyphs? I see everything. X-ray visor. Nice. Oh. He's got to give that nod to Super Metroid somehow. So what does that mean? You can see everything uh, now. Okay. Get that thing over there. There's a thing up there. There's a thing that's over here to this thing. So let's go with this thing. I don't know what to call them, Gary, okay? Oh, okay. So this is how you do it. Now we can read the hieroglyphs. You ever, you ever played Maple Story? Uh million years ago for like 10 minutes. They have a uh, very advanced anti-piracy tactics and th this kind of reminds me of one of I those. I love that. Where like the only like you have to enter a, a pin number to access your character and it gives you an on-screen number keypad that keeps changing its positions every time that you pull it up. <laughs> God, I love anti-piracy. Just the things that devs have come up with is amazing. Sometimes. I try to, I try to use Joy to Key on MapleStore and it goes, Hey! No! No! You can't use that! Ah. Oh dear. I luckily got that green door before it closed. I think my favorite anti-piracy is Earthbounds and Spyros. Those are my favorites. I think mine's Kirby's Dream Course. I don't remember that. Like, if it- if it, uh, learns that it is, uh, a pirated copy... ...you don't get health back when you, uh, defeat enemies. Oh. So you will die very quickly. But if you are some kind of god, and you manage to get to the end... ...and you- and you get through all eight courses, a game crashes anyway and deletes your save. That's what Earthbound does. You get to the final boss. The uh, final boss gives you their monologue. They uh, basically call you out for being a cheater, and then the game crashes and erases your save. I want that green beam. I want that. I like green beam. I want green some beam. plasma, baby. Oh, wait, no, we have plasma. This is plasma. What is that, then? That's, that's, that's the good beam is what that is. Uh, let's just call it the murder beam, because right. that's what it's going to be doing. Check this out. Stow Go. away. Our attempts to intercept the Federation ship departing Aether were unsuccessful. With them went a, coll a collection of Phazon, the first to fall into Federation hands. They foolishly left most of the Phazon behind, allowing us to quickly collect what we could. But in our haste, we took more than mere Phazon. Our scanners had detected the remains of Dark Samus, who had revived herself with our Phazon storage. Surely we are cursed! 
The fiendish shrew consumed all the phase on, <laughs> then wiped out a third of the crew in a matter of minutes. Now she moves at will throughout the halls of Colossus, using her witchery to beguile the minds of the crew. We are unable to call for aid, and only a few of us remain to stand against her. All is lost. It's mind control. The phase on's taken over. Oh, no. Dark Samus is like, nice place. I need your army. <laughs> Nice army. I'll take it. <laughs> it's like a Dark Samus kill. Ah! Wow, that's that is a true horror story. She basically waltzes in and just goes, "Hi, mine now." All right, I'm just gonna hyper mode you. You, you guys are just get, these, just, get, just get out of here, okay? That is so interesting. They went in for phase on and found something worse. Whoa. This is Federation Trooper NZG41. A survivor? You kidding? Channel. I was taken prisoner during the attack on Norian, but I managed to escape. I have information about how to bypass the acid rain and get through to the sea. Uh, uh, I'm transmitting my coordinates now. Hmm. I don't buy that for a second. Why could you not buy that for a second? This is- I mean, it's- it's a guy who has exactly what we need. How perfect. Precisely. That's why I don't believe it for a second. Why don't you believe it for a second? Whoa, here's a guy in trouble, we have to help him! Uh-huh. A guy who conveniently has literally everything we could ever want, but also was captured on Norian, and we also have a shapeshifter on the loose. What do you mean? Those two can't be related. <laughs> Just a coincidence. This is coincidence, totally. I like that. That's a fun puzzle. Shoot the glowy red dots. Yep. We need to get some actual gameplay in here, huh? See, I just really liked how it looked with the x-ray beam. I don't even care that we were shooting dots, it just looked cool. It just looked cool. This game looks cool. It actually does look a lot better than it did back when I watched you play it on the Wii. Maybe that's because of all the upscaling. It's just HDMI input. And we're also not using, you know, a Dazzle or a Hapog. We're not on a CRT anymore. <laughs> We've upgraded to HD! Oh, wow. 1080 OP. 1080p. That one. I also do like that the, the buttons are changing, so your Maple Story comparison was right on the money. Mm hmm. All we, need oh, is, oh. all we need is pleasing music and server issues. <laughs> the two well-known aspects of Maple Story. You know, oh. it's, it's been a hot minute since I played Maple Story. I think it's it's been a couple years now. I think I'm about due for my yearly uh, by by yearly uh, two check weeks in, two yeah. weeks of playing Maple yearly Story and then in. being disillusioned. We got the seed, and we got to uh, the research facility, and uh, we're gonna go fight Gandrid. I mean, we're gonna go I and mean, uh, meet the meet the trooper yeah, there who's yeah, gonna the help trooper. us with the acid rain. And Tro troopers having some trouble. How does he know about the acid rain and the seed? Precisely. But this the, is well, why I didn't well, buy it for a second. Because he's an inside man. He probably overheard our communication log, and why would he be transmitting? The, the... So many things are against this this mystery person. Well, either way, that's a lead. I'm gonna go follow that. Next time on Metroid Prime 3.